Hello everyone. We are from Canopy Education Channel. We are going to enhance our knowledge about system development life cycle, which is the grade 11. Second lesson. A system is a combination of components that work together to fulfill a task. System consists of three main basic components. They are input, process, output. Information system is a system which converts data into information. Information system can be classified as manual system and computer-based information system. Manual system is a system all processes are done by manually. Computer-based information system is a system which converts data into information using a computer. Differences between manual and computer-based information system Manual system More room for errors Processing of data is less efficiently Requires a large space for data storage Computer-based information system Errors are minimal Data can be processed more efficiently Large amount of data can be stored in small physical space System development life cycle has following steps identification of requirements designing the solution coding of the solutions testing and debugging deployment of the system maintenance of the system identification of requirements has several methods of gathering information observation interviews questionnaires document sample collection, and prototyping. Observation is the initial stage of developing a computer-based system. The existing system is observed to gather information important towards making assumptions. Example, observation of issuing of books in a library. Interviews provides an opportunity to discuss matters related to personal attitudes openly. Useful to identify personal requirements. Example, meeting the librarian for a discussion. Questionnaires is used in user requirement gathering. Answers collected are analyzed for understanding the needs. Example, handling over a questionnaire to the librarian for his slash her responses. Document sample collection. Reports or files maintained in an organization under study are examined for information example reports, library cards available in a library. Prototyping. The model of the proposed system to be implemented is developed and demonstrated to the staff and the users for feedback and comments. Example A display of screenshots, records, samples. Designing the solution. Activities related to the design process are. Identification of software and software architecture User interface Identification of main hardware systems and its components Identification of dependency of each subsystem 
deciding on the required hardware and software to run the system, designing infrastructure for software, databases, user interfaces, and planning of tests. Coding of the solution Coding of the proposed system, using a suitable computer language. Testing and debugging Main objective of this phase Resolve errors Errors in coding, planning and requirements are corrected. Methods to test the system System testing Integration testing Unit testing and Acceptance testing Unit testing Each unit in the system is tested Integration testing Units already tested and debugged are integrated to form the complete system System testing Complete system is tested. Acceptance testing. This testing is carried out at with the users of the system, and, the user is allowed to use the system. Deployment of the system. Different deployment approaches to deploy a system they are. Direct deployment. Parallel deployment. Pilot deployment. And, Phase Deployment Direct Deployment If the new system is proved successful, the old system can be abandoned. Parallel Deployments New systems proves successfully, the old system can be terminated and, the new system continues. Pilot Deployment Newly Development System in a Selected Area Phase Deployment Old System is completely replaced by the new Maintenance of the System In System Maintenance following are required Developing Systems to Suit New User Requirements Issues that surfaced with the use of the system, which were not identified during system development. Adopting new technology into the new system to improve efficiency. There are several life cycle models. Waterfall model. Iterative incremental model. Prototyping model. Spiral model. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.